Now, first, uh, Mr. President, I understand there's a bill at the desk that is due for a second reading. The clerk will read the title of the bill for a second time. H.R. 3076, an act to provide stability to and enhance the services of the United States Postal Service and for other purposes. In order to place the bill on the calendar under the provisions of Rule 14, I would object to further proceeding. Objection having been heard, the bill will be placed on the calendar. Thank you, Mr. President. Now, Mr. President, last night, and this is relevant to what we just did, putting the new bill on the calendar um, for a second reading. Last night, we had a chance to continue progress on a bipartisan, long overdue postal reform bill when I moved to expeditiously fix a few technical errors to the legislation sent to us by the House. Sadly, my request was blocked by the junior senator from Florida without much in the way of clear explanation. For instance, he says he wants to stand up for postal workers, but all the organizations representing postal workers strongly support this bill. They are eager for it. He says he wants to protect, strengthen Medicare, but Postal already pays into Medicare, and the CBO says that this proposal, this bill, will save the government money. So I hope, for the sake of our postal workers, our postal service, and for the millions, tens of millions, even hundreds of Amer millions of Americans who depend on postal service, that this is not obstruction for obstruction's sake. This is a textbook example, Mr. President, of why Americans often get frustrated with the Senate and with Washington. Postal reform is highly bipartisan. It got a majority of votes in the House from both parties. It's desperately needed. We all hear from our constituents about snail mail and the price they pay for it. It's backed by both parties in both houses, including the chairman and ranking member of the relevant committees, the Democratic and Republican leading members of both committees. And it has broad support from the postal workers, who tend to be Democratic, and Postmaster DeJoy, who is a friend of President Trump's and was appointed by him. Nevertheless, it was blocked. I am sure that Republicans don't want to be the party that was responsible for blocking popular and bipartisan postal reform. The delay is regrettable, but the good news is that we will get bipartisan postal reform done. It's been negotiated for months and debated for a decade. It has enough bipartisan support, more than enough, ample support, to become law, and I'm hopeful we'll move it through this chamber as quickly as we can, and that's what the procedural motion I did before was about. And I certainly want to thank my colleagues on both sides of the aisle for working on this bill, particularly my friend Chairman Gary Peters, who spoke passionately last night in defense of the bill and rebutted all of the senator from Florida's arguments handily. And I look forward to getting postal reform passed through this chamber very soon.